Hey everybody, welcome back to the Bears Den. David here. Hopefully you all are doing well. Hopefully everybody's having a great week so far. And in today's video, I have some new 2024 releases that I cannot wait to wear this fall season. Now, I haven't been able to hold my excitement at all, so I have been giving these a few wears like once or twice, but I feel like all these fragrances over here, as you can tell with the juice in them, it's kind of deeper, richer, it looks like. Um, these are going to be better suited for that fall and winter time. Um, and fragrances work differently depending on the season that you're in. So if you wear like a fresher fragrance in the wintertime, it's going to act different. You might smell different notes compared to if you wear it in the summertime. But the fall season is definitely my favorite season of the year. And I really love the month of October. It's my favorite month. Some people refer to uh, spooky season. So um, definitely spooky season is on the way. But you know, it's still been pretty hot where I'm at, about 80 to 90 degrees, but I haven't shied away by giving these at least a wear or two, and definitely wanted to come back and tell you all that these fragrances are definitely going to be in my rotation for this fall season. Um, if you're interested in any of the fragrances here I talk about today, um, as you can tell, I have free niche, one designer. Make sure you sample, because these are expensive fragrances over here, even the designer is. Um, just make sure you see if this fragrance works good for you and you like the fragrance all right so sample try it out um if you can go to the department store or buy a sample online whatever you prefer um, make sure to do that before you buy a full bottle um, so if any of these sound interesting to you that's probably a good route to go in my opinion <laughs> next thing if you enjoy fragrance content such as lists and reviews Make sure to check out the rest of my channel after you get done watching this video. And then also too, if you want to be included in a future Flavor of the Month video where I do Q&As on that video, I will be posting the question very soon and you can post your response there to that question. Love to hear from the community. Appreciate all you, everybody here watching my content, Fum leaving thumbs up, subscribing to the channel. It all means a lot to me. Appreciate the love and support and love to hear from all of you that are in my community here in the Bears Den. With all that being said, let's hop into these new 2024 fragrances. I cannot wait to wear this fall season. Okay, so to start out this list, we're going to start with a fragrance from the House of Argos, which is their new fragrance, their new 2024 release, which is Sacred Flame. Here it is. Very nice presentation. I like the Greek mythology behind all their scents here. And Hefty Cap. And overall, this one is going to be uh, warm, spice, citrus, amber, vanilla, powdery, fruity, Got some cinnamon, woods, balsamic, and sweet type of fragrance here. Some accords for you all. And this one has a lot of notes here. And from the atomizer, I do get a little bit of that citrus. You do get a good amount of cinnamon in this um, scent, I will say. This reminds me of a sugary flame, I guess you could say. So like a sweet flame, if that kind of makes sense to you. It's kind of like if you were at the oven and you were boiling down sugar. That's what this kind of reminds me a little bit in this scent, but this has got a lot of cool, this has got a lot of basically notes in it, I would say. And look at the juice in here, pretty dark juice. Um, but going back to the notes in this fragrance of Sacred Flame from Argos, you got some grapefruit, you got some tangerine, you got uh, some peach, some bergamot, you got some cinnamon in that mid along with rose, patchouli, and then vanilla, amber, benzoin, sandalwood, and tonka bean in that base. And this one here is, you know, I will say because of that juice, it's, I've only given it one wearing, but off of that one wearing, I cannot wait to give it more wears in the fall. And as of now, it's not like my favorite fragrance from the House Argos, you know, tr uh, Triumph of Bacchus. I like that one. I like Adonis Awakens. I like Danae. Um, also two fall phaeton those four um, those are the four I have in my collection I have bottles of and I this one hasn't got a fair shake yet so I can't put it between all those four um, 
but definitely warm spice, sugary type of scent with some citrus off the top. And this is basically, in my opinion, it's warm, it's masculine, it's rich, it's complex with all the notes, deep, and it is very long lasting, I would say. So the performance and the longevity is not gonna let you down here. And overall with the Argos fragrances, I feel like they all have a similar vibe to them. So they kind of have all similar backbone, which Argos uh, puts in these fragrances and they build off of that base here. All right, that's not saying that all these fragrances are related compared to what's in them. They don't smell similar, but Argos has got a similar feel with all their scents. And if you enjoy that kind of Argos DNA, then this one is gonna be one you definitely wanna sample and try out and see what you think. But he this is gonna be heavy in my rotation coming up here soon once it gets down to that 60, 50, even maybe low 70 degree Weber, and can't wait to break it out again, so. The next one here is the only designer on the list, and this is the only one I have from the line here, and it is Scandal Pour Home Absolute from JPG, John Paul Gutier, and nice gradient on the bottle here. This has got a Maribel plum note at the top, got some chestnut in that base here, and man, this is delectable. It is kind of like I'm smelling a dessert a little bit with that kind of caramelized chestnut in that mid here, and you can get the chestnut just coming off the atomizer. It's woody, fruity, warm spice, balsamic, nutty, sweet, powdery, and it's got some amber in this as well. Overall, this has got a creamy sandalwood too in the base, and it's gonna remind some people of uh, both the Ever Scandals in the line, and then One Million Lucky, Strong With You, absolutely, and The Most Wanted. But in my opinion, the Scandal uh, Pour Ohm Absolute is a sweet like dessert-like fragrance here. It, you got the fr fruitiness from the Maribel Plum, and then you're gonna get that caramel rich kind of feel with that chestnut in that mid. And it adds that warmth to it as well. And then in that base, you got the creamy woody sandalwood to kind of just put everything nicely together. This is a well-blended fragrance. The performance is not gonna let you down. The longevity is not gonna let you down with this fragrance as well. Um, this is gonna be a very good evening scent, I would say on a date going out. This is something to definitely check out for yourself and see if it works good for you because all those other scents, it is kind of similar to those in some shape or form, but this one has a very, I guess, rich and it's very sweet because of that Maribel Plum and that car caramelized kind of chestnut feel this one has. And it's a rich, warm, creamy fragrance um, that's, long lasting and gonna be good for those cooler evenings. So this one here, I very excited. I'm glad I got a bottle of it. I'm glad I it made the collection and I, it took me for surprise for this um, year, the 2024 releases. And down the line, I will make a video highlighting all the top releases from this year, at least the ones I got in my collection. And as of now, this is a, this has a high chance of at least being in my top five for sure. Now the next one here, this is one house I haven't tried any fragrances from. Um, I, blind, I blind, blind bought this, excuse me, and it was in collaboration with the perfume guy. And this is Just Box and it is 54. Definitely want to get a discovery set from this house and try more of their scents. I really like the presentation on these. Um, deep juice as you can tell there nice really nice presentation with this but it's got like a record it, it's kind of like an old vinyl here which is awesome and I wore this one actually a few days ago and man it is very different um, but in a very good way <laughs> it's very different but in a very good way the perfume guy did an excellent job with this with just box um, warm spice woody patchouli sweet Cinnamon, coconut, fruity, balsamic are some accords in this scent here. And then you got vanilla and chocolate to round it all out. Patchouli, pina colada, cinnamon, chocolate, vanilla, and rum. Just a few notes in this. And overall, those notes that I brought up are the ones that you're going to get most prominent. Prominent. I will say, with that patchouli, it's going to give you more of that chocolate vibe, all right? Um, in this opening, it's a very strong boozy opening with 
that pina colada and that rum combining together, but that pina colada gives it that coconut type of feel, and you're gonna get that throughout the whole opening of the fragrance here, along with that rum, very boozy scent, kind of what I mentioned before. It stands out um, because of that, I will say, because that coconut with the pina colada combining with that rum, and it's basically very different opening than what somebody's used to. So you gotta like coconut, you gotta like boozy type of scents, and then you got a little vanilla sprinkled in there along with that chocolatey patchouli. And performance is not lacking in this one. Longevity is not lacking in this one as well. They go they go hand in hand with these fragrances, as you could tell. This one lasted quite a while but it, it evolves. It's not something that's gonna stay linear, so you're gonna get a lot of that pina colada at the start of the fragrance, and then it's gonna lean more into that rum realm, and then it's gonna get more of that creamy, and you're gonna get more vanilla, and you're gonna get more of that patchouli coming out for sure. You do get like bits and pieces throughout the whole fragrance here of those notes, but that's what's gonna be dominant towards that dry down here, and I will say too that it's it's just a it's a beautiful fragrance. It's blended well. Um, I didn't think I was gonna like that because of that really strong pina colada smell, but that cinnamon, the patchouli, the vanilla rounds out the booziness perfectly in this scent to um, definitely make it something um, like you know it's a little bit edible, but it's something I feel like if I went up to a bar and. I ordered like a cocktail or something like that in the rum rail or like a pina colada. It gives me that feel. It's literally that realistic in my opinion. It's like, oh my gosh, I haven't been drinking pina colada. No, I have not. I've been drinking rum. No, I have not. So excellent scent by the house of Just Box and uh, 54 is definitely one that took me by surprise. I, you know, very, very different feel to it for sure compared to what's been kind of very big on the market lately. Alrighty, last but not least is from a house that has, I enjoy a lot of their scents and I'll have to make a, a niche list for you all, like my top niche houses, but definitely this house would definitely sneak in for sure as of now. This is a new release I got with Amperful and it is Eternal Wood from Mansara here. Always good presentations here, magnetic cap, always enjoy that. But here, this scent's gonna be ambery, sweet, woody, warm spice, vanilla, caramel, and then it got a little aromatic feel to it too. This one is a very confusing scent though. It's got people that really enjoy it. It's got people that don't really enjoy it. And this is one here that is not a creation of a, like a pure Mancera scent. They got inspiration from other scents, which when Mancera does this, they do put their their own twist on it but this one's going to remind you of at least in that opening you're going to get a lot of anishio ood for great ood for greatness um and then you're going to get a lot of pdm's hot 10 so that one and then you're going to get the um most wanted dna with this one as well so basically in that opening you're going to get ood from great ood for greatness from anishio and you're going to get the par from stamarly hot 10 dna as well and then as this goes a little bit further, you're gonna get a little bit more of a, a Sauvage Elixir, but that toffee note is gonna come out with this scent that's gonna give it more of that feel with the most wanted. And some other notes in this scent are you got some saffron, you got that oud at the top, you got that Gaiac wood in the mid, and you got some Palo Santo, and then the base you got that toffee and tonka bean. That's why I kind of said in that opening, it's really gonna give you the vibe of that Anishio Oud for Greatness, and then uh, PDM Hall 10, which if you did not know, those are uh, sister companies or partners, I guess you could say. They're kind of owned by the same people, so that's you know that's why those two scents are kind of familiar to each other. But uh, of course, Mancera doesn't have anything to do with those two brands. But then as this scent dries down, you're gonna get more of that Most Wanted, along with a little sprinkle of that Dior Sauvage Elixir. But I will say with this scent, it does have that Mancera twist with it. So it does, like, you know, you're thinking to yourself like, oh, this does smell like this, this does smell like that, but it doesn't smell exactly like that, all right? This is not a one-to-one -to, -one to those scents, I would say, overall here. And with this fragrance here, the performance is there. It's a Mancera fragrance. Um, so you're gonna get that out of it. You're gonna get that good longevity out of it as well. 
and you know that's something that I give my hat off to Mansara. The performance for a lot of the fragrances I have tried, that performance has been there for them. That longevity has been there for them. So that's always a thumbs up for me. But um, in my opinion, this is a fragrance that can't make up its mind, but it is enjoyable. Like I, you know, cannot wait to give it more wears. And right now at discounters, it is at a good price. So. Um, and you know, a lot of Mansairas usually are kind of, I've said that before about these scents, but overall, this one is a very, it's a very appealing scent with, you know, a different vibe as the fragrance uh, lifespan goes along, but um, definitely with a Mansara twist on it, okay? So, um, like I said, it's not a one-to-one, -one. it's gonna remind you of those fragrances, but they do have some other, things that they put in the fragrance, like the notes of her notes that are gonna give it different twists um, and turns, I guess, throughout. So this fragrance is not linear. That's all I'm trying to say here. And it's got, it's not a direct clone, okay? So, so yeah, everybody, there is my four scents that I cannot wait to wear this fall season that I recently just got into the collection. Let me know some new fragrances that you all got in your collection that you cannot wait to wear this fall season. Um, looking forward to all those responses and um, yeah like I said it's very uh, crazy how fast the year has flown by and I appreciate everybody for sticking around throughout the whole video with me greatly appreciate that and with all that being said I will see you all in the next video